Greetings from Longmont, Colorado, USA. Thanks to our friends at AHA Math, you and your children now have access to the Zone Tool. I'm Paul Hildebrandt, president of Zone Tool Incorporated, and I've been involved with this wonderful tool for almost 50 years. Allowing your children to play with the Zone Tool will enhance their creativity and intelligence. With your gentle guidance, you will be making an important investment in their future. The Zone Tool has already informed the work of mathematicians, scientists, architects, and artists around the world, including at least five Nobel Prize winners. But we designed it for children, your children. The mathematical basis of the Zone Tool was discovered by visionary architect Steve Baer in the 1960s. Baer's associate, Clark Rickert, introduced me to a prototype in 1973, but I didn't really understand it until Mark Pelletier explained it to me in 1980. Almost immediately, we teamed up to make it user-friendly, and 12 years later, the Zone Tool was born. The Zone Tool is a physical embodiment of quantum math, the mother of all maths and queen of the sciences. Quantum math is math you can feel. When your child picks up a yellow strut, they can feel the shape of the number three, a triangle. In order to build a square, children intuitively use blue struts that are shaped like a number two, a rectangle. The square has two times two edges, two times two corners, and two-fold symmetry in two times two directions. Everything about the square seems to be related to the number two. What about the cube? Since it's made of squares, it must be made of blue lines. But a cube has two times three faces, two cubed corners, and two times two times three edges. Where does the number three fit in? Well, to start with, the cube is three-dimensional. As soon as you learn to walk, you can feel the third dimension, a line that starts in the center of the Earth, shoots straight up through your spine and out the top of your head across the universe. That's math you can feel. Here's another way to find the number three in a cube. Look at one of the corners. You can see that there are three squares coming together at every corner. If I stick a yellow strut into that corner, like this, I can rotate the cube three times, and it lines up with itself, and then it returns to its original position. That's called threefold rotational symmetry. And if you point this yellow line towards the sun, you get a shadow of a hexagon made of two times three triangles with two times three corners and two times three edges. Finally, if we connect two opposite corners of the cube with two yellow lines joined by a ball in the middle, we can calculate the length of a yellow line. If the length of our cube edge is one, then by the Pythagorean theorem, this length is the square root of one squared plus one squared plus one squared, or root three divided by two, which is cosine 30 degrees, intimately related to the number three. Kids don't need to know the abstract math at first, they'll feel it. Everything about the zone tool, shape, length, vector in space, is related to the numbers one, two, three, or five, the green, blue, yellow, or red lines. The relationships among numbers are the building blocks of the universe. As Mark Pelletier said, the structure of number is the structure of space. There's so much more I'd love to tell you about the zone tool, but the most important thing is to get it into the hands of your children as soon as possible. Any six-year-old can use it, and I've seen children as young as three work with it for hours at a time. In order to get the best value from your zone tool, please teach your children the following rules. Number one, if it works, it works perfectly. Your children need never bend, twist, or force zone tool parts together. From a simple cube to the most complicated hyperspace projection, everything always fits together perfectly. Number two, take it apart, don't break it apart. We produce the zone tool to exacting quality standards in our own plant here in Longmont, but it is possible to break the stubs off the end of the struts if you don't disassemble models properly. You can avoid damaging parts by grasping the strut and squeezing the ball off like this. Thanks so much for your interest in the zone tool. 
Many blessings to you and your children who will soon be the artists, architects, scientists, and mathematicians making the world of tomorrow better.